Yeah, let's face it, what I did was probably not right. Um, I had complete control of my vehicle. I was never going to hit somebody. It's never gone through my mind to actually run somebody over with a vehicle. I don't just see red and think I'm going to hit somebody. Um, I just, uh, I don't know, I was very frustrated at the moment. Um, I think there's, you know, to put some things into perspective a little bit, uh, you know, from the in-car camera, you can see that I'm rolling down pit road. They pointed me to the left to go to, you know, you guys know, the top 10 cars and the big story cars, and obviously that's the storyline. Um, and there was no way for me to get there. I stopped, got aggravated, someone put their hand in the car, and I dumped the clutch. Um, like I said, never gonna put someone in, in trouble and, uh, and hurt somebody um, with that, but uh, I understand the optics of it, and if you're on the other end of it, they don't know that I'm not gonna hit somebody. So I understand uh, the, the penalty. Um, they wire, I wired 50 grand over to their bank at PNC, and off it went. So um, I'm not a robot, I'm a human. And uh, the best you know, comparison I can think of to help people relate, it's kind of like, it's kind of like your house got broken into, and it took all your stuff, right? And then about a minute and a half later, you see them all dancing in your front yard with all your stuff. What would you do, right? Like, you kind of got to put a little bit of it into perspective. I, I obviously was not going to do anything to hurt anybody, but obviously I'm not a robot, and I was emotional about it, and um, rightfully so, but. Um, still doesn't mean I should have done what I did. So, like I said, wired it over to the bank and off we go. Well, I guess the question would be like, you know what you're doing and you have control of your car, but you don't necessarily know what they're. Going yeah, like to I guess I, 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 listen, Bob, I do donuts around people every week. You know, we do video shoots at my drift truck and I'm, people stand in the middle and I do donuts around them. You know, so for me, I, I, I felt like I didn't put anyone in danger because I'm fully in control. and. You know, I think for the majority of people that drive their vehicles every day, that would be too much, right? Because they don't do that every day. Um, but for us, you know, 40 out here, we're professional drivers and we're actually really good at doing things. And, um, you know, I was displaying my frustration and probably should have controlled it better. Does NASCAR's decision leave any additional questions for you or does that clarify in terms of what the end of the race? Um, it's, I mean, it, it, I mean, every time that something happens, you're going to go back to a previous event and say, okay, is that okay or is that not okay? Um, there's no doubt that lines were crossed, right? That's what they, they all um, you know, came to a conclusion with uh, when, they, when they handed down the penalties. But, yeah, I don't know, that's, that's what you're going to go off of from now on. Um, obviously, they say that there's not a way to take away the win based off the rule book. I'm not sure that would be something that will be added to people. I mean, is this a, a missed case of you should have been? No, I think it was like seven spots better. So I yeah, I mean, like the, the, the penalty there. is the penalty. And, it, no, and that, you know, is it right that the win was taken away? I Absolutely. We or at least the stuff the that goes along with it that matters. Yeah, um, here, you know, it just did it make it right for me? No, I'm still sitting here last car on the lead lap after all that. So it's still not right in my book. But what, there's, what are they going to do, right? It kind of puts in a tough spot. The only option is to go back to the last lap or the loop going into turn three, um, you know, if you're going to put the leader back in the leader's spot. I don't know if that's their intentions or not. If you have to ask them, I don't really know. Um, but that's uh, – I will say they probably need to make the call quicker, right? Because I think once all the – you know, you got to think of all the other stuff that, that's involved after – the race, right? All the gambling and you know all the stuff that people put money on, and it's all paid out. And then how are you going to get all the money back? <laughs> like I think there, I think that goes into the equation. I think I don't know that, but I would assume that becomes a pretty complex situation. So they take away anything else that matters. Um, but I think if you made the call sooner, um, like they do post race tech. Uh, you know, you probably don't have to go through all that. What happens if something of this nature happens at Phoenix? Well, I think that's why it was so important for them to, to handle this in the correct way now, so it doesn't happen. But, I mean, we can't wait 72 hours at Phoenix. No. No, you can't. Yeah, I remember coming here. Y'all was always on day 